Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bromwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back. Nice to see you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your sus subscribes. Thank you for your donations and your emails. Okay, your emails just giving confirmation, your emails sharing your stories and your emails requesting bookings. I do apologise if I haven't got back to you. My house is busy I am, and I am a carer. Um, I do try my best to get back within 48 hours. If you have not heard from me within 48 hours, I do encourage you to send me a prompt email because it will put your email to the top of the list so that I do not forget about you, okay? Now, let's get into this. Mm, radical expansion and manifestia. Something's been removed, okay? Something has been removed from a light one's home without a doubt okay and i heard the scammers are gonna scam and remember there is definitely someone still going through the comment section here and there they seem to be biding their time and licking their wounds at the moment yeah look at that all in their feelings because whatever it is that they've been sending isn't working but there is someone going around pretending to be me pretending to be a pasta if it does not have a highlighted banner it could have my picture they may even try to you know they spot my name right at least um but they you know if they're trying to um contact you saying whatsapp me solicit readings it is not me please just block and report them but let's see because i keep i've got that song by brandy it's a really old 90 90s song that boy is man seem to be confused me, 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 me. i don't know the rest of it but there's something going on here with someone being obsessed obsessed with a masculine energy here but i the energy that i'm getting is that this light one whether that's you someone else that you're thinking of the divine counterpart they're not interested they're not interested in whoever it is that this this you know um third party is running after this masculine energy now you've got home okay something was definitely cleared from someone's home I heard your home is magnificent or the energy in your home is magnificent. And you have to remember the home, your home can be material. It can be an actual tangible material building or it can be home is where the heart is because you've got a double heart here. But this is also about something about speaking home truths or speaking truth to yourself. You've also got air here. OK, so that's Gemini, Aquarius and Libra. So it's looking at how you network, how you communicate. It's also looking at... Um, friends and social circles and then you have libra which is all about how you negotiate it's also to do with justice now this is very interesting now i've started using an emf reader i thought it was quite interesting okay if this hits over i think it's 45 we have someone with us what i have noticed is over here someone wants to be someone seems to be hanging about with us okay so let's find out and it's right next to my green and white tar and this is about abundance Okay, so let's find out what is it that was clear to bring in this abundance because you've got journey to wholeness okay and star seer interesting now why was i moved to talk about that emf reader and i heard someone needs to get one because I, I heard grandfather calling and do you know what there is a film out called the black the black phone and it's got Ethan Hawke in it. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's really, really interesting. This child, how they, <clears throat> this child's able to communicate through an old telephone that isn't connected in to lost souls. There's something here with somebody's grandparent or someone's, there's an energy here of someone trying to get in contact and they can't. And I heard a warning sign. Okay, now with that song coming out with Brandy, there's someone here who is obsessed with either taking down the light one or feeling like this light one has stolen away their man, even though this light one has nothing to do with it. And you have an ancestor coming through who wants to talk to you about this. But I also heard about money, which makes sense why I kept getting that reading over there. And I heard show them that, they, that it's still there or whoever it is is still there. Are you still there? Yeah. Okay, so it's round here. There's something going on round here. And we've got here full spectrum. Whoever it is that is obsessed with blocking, because I heard marring. Why did I hear mar? Del mar. Del mar. You have either a Spanish ancestor coming through, or the person who's doing this is a Spanish speaker. Okay? They could be working with Santiera, with Santa Muerto. 
there's something along those lines but this person yeah this person is very very bitter and has a very closed heart and you've got journey to wholeness there's something here about trying to block you from your abundance because they no longer have any and i heard they never had any to start with and that song is still playing in my head okay you've got alignment okay because i'm hearing speaking words of truth and power to yourself is blocking whatever it is that send whatever they're sending and you've also got soul star chakra and it says merging with the divine there is a plan a plot a scheme or just a goal to block this light one from their gifts okay from getting certain downloads and being able to connect with their ancestors that's quite interesting that might be why i was encouraged to say someone needs to get an emf reader or someone needs to get one of those um that piece of software where you can actually pick up on words and things that are said because someone's ancestor wants to come through and they want to share something because i heard knowledge okay and they're being blocked someone is being blocked not all but someone here is definitely being blocked awaken awareness there you go someone's being blocked by whoever this person is who is full 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 of hate this person is blocked on all, on all, I heard on all, all spectrums or all realms, but there's something they're working with somebody else, okay? So you've got star seed elemental and then you've got evolution upside down. This person could be a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or they could be blocking the first, the fifth and the ninth house because your first house is about how people see you. It's your identity, okay? It's how you show up. Your, you know, <clears throat> Leo is, is held in the fifth house. It's to do with your love. It's to do with the, your heart chakra. But it's also to do with how you deal with conflict and confrontation. And then the ninth house is to do with your faith, philosophy, travel. Mm -hmm. Someone's definitely trying to block this person from moving forward, this light will from moving forward. And I heard they blocked themselves. Because you've got here as well, Solaris Sublime. Yeah, someone's trying to attach to someone's solar plexus. Because I heard you left me out. You left me out. Left you out of what? Of move, moving forward. Because you've got freedom here. Okay? Someone also needs to do that cord removal. Or they need to do some sort of um, technique to align their chakras. Especially their solar plexus. Okay? It's going to free this person. This light one. Now, where did, I wanted to put this here. But I don't know if I should. Yes, put it here. Okay. And now we'll put it on the bottom. Heart chakra. You've got here, unfurling back to love. Somebody is in a very bitter, I heard salty water, salty water. And look, we were saying so the black surfs. They locked them out. Someone has an attachment they need to remove. It's not a very big one. But we've also got here crystal keys, okay? <clears throat> there may be specific crystals that can help with this. And I do have a deck on crystals that we can get out and have a look at. So let's see. What crystals may be needed? Now we have calcite here, and again, this is almost like an, an orangey yellow, so this is to do with your sacral and your solar plexus. Someone may need some calcite. We also have chrysophrase, and we all, and again, calcite, chrysophrase. I don't know all of the different crystal meanings, so if any of them resonate for you, please Google them. Google the ones that really jump out at you. What needs to come out? I've still got that song. That boy is mine. And you've got here, rutilated quartz. Someone's not seeing clearly. Someone's not seeing clearly. It's almost like the divine is letting whoever this is that's doing this know that the person that has moved away from them wasn't supposed to be in their life. And they've literally been given... It's not a gift, but it's almost like the universe is going, do you know what? You need to step forward. You need to stop ruminating over whoever this person is that's walked away from you, especially with that freedom. Okay. And then I heard they're not taking it. They're not taking it. And there's something here about muddying someone's third eye or muddying someone's solar plexus. Why? Because you've got snowflake obsidian. This person is very ungrounded. Okay. This is what they're sending. This is the energy that's being sent towards a light one. Very un unbalanced foundations is what i heard okay and you've got tiger iron and you've got aquamarine so that oh for some reason i heard someone's angry at an engagement or someone they someone's read without permission and realized that someone's getting married or is about to be proposed to and whoever it is that has um you know is sending this because this person has moved away they're really angry 
they've realised the person who's moved away from them is coming towards this light one to propose to them. Crazy. Because you've got Zurite and you've got Tiger Iron. Someone's got like a, a it's almost like a, a, a lion's, when you think of those big cats and how they, you know, they set their sight on their prey. And then they have nothing but laser focus as they're slowly cr creeping forward. The energy of whoever it is that's walked away from this person, they are no longer being able to, they're, they're, they can't have their buttons pressed. They're not reacting the way they used to, to whoever this person is. They can't be bound. They can't be, um, what's the word? They can't have their feathers ruffled by this person. And it's sending this person into some sort of weird obsessive, um, because I heard a cult. There's something here where they're trying to get other women who have been, as they see, wronged by men into their cult to help them. Because this person, they're very, very blocked. They cannot send this stuff by themselves. They're having to get other people to do it for them. And I heard I'm broke, so they can't pay for it. And you've got rhodochrosite. Okay, that's heart space. And then you've also got your psychic gifts coming in with this colour over here. Anything else that wants to come out? No, put it down. Okay. What should I take? Ooh, let's have a look at this one. Okay, so let's get some zodiacs here and find out what's happening and what houses. Now tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. What do we need to see? And we've got here... The placement of Neptune in your chart explains your psychic intuition and how you dream. So this person, is this the masculine that's coming forward or is this the, the kind of like um, third party that won't give up? Third party, okay? This third party here is trying to figure out how to get into someone's dreamscape or try to, trying to astrally project, but they're not able to. There's some, there's some sort of boundary that's been put up. I had a fiery boundary that's been put up and every time they try they i heard i cry or they get hurt okay and that's why that makes sense this is why they're trying to pull other people in but people keep coming and going especially with the ninth house being pulled out that's about travel so they're having to try and find other people to do this without actually telling them the full details you've also got here virgo is the sixth house of the zodiac and is represented by the maiden Virgo's birthdays fall between the 23rd of August to the 22nd of, of September. Something may have happened in Virgo season. You may be a Virgo. This place may, may have a lot of Virgo placement in their natal chart. But Virgos are very analytical. They're very good at putting things in order, organising, com compartmentalising. But they're also very deep thinkers. Okay. <clears throat> now with this in its shadow aspect... This person is worrying, they're over worrying or they're ruminating over this person that's left and how to get them back. And I heard how to stop a wedding. Anything else that wants to come out? Let's see. Now we have here, look, Sagittarius, I was saying it was about the ninth house. Sagittarians are commonly playful, independent, optimistic and energetic. They may also have a tendency to say what they think without filter. If I place this over here, this person's ruminated so much that they've kind of let their mask slip and the filter that they had has gone, has completely gone. Because you've got, ah, okay. On here, they're teaching someone else. It's almost like they're giving instruction on how to read other people's um, birth charts or, or how to do tarot. Okay, because you have here, fire signs are Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. Air signs are Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And water signs are Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. This person, ooh, this person is actually trying to analyse someone's birth chart. They, they seem to be giving this, either they're giving this information to someone else so that they can use Santiera or they can do their, their casting and so on so, and, and so forth. Or it's the other way around. They've taken information to someone else and said, can you read this for me? Because I'm completely blocked. Can you read this for me and tell me which house I should be sending this to? And we've got the ninth house here, which is about your faith. It's your philosophies. It's it's almost like your perspective on the world and how you connect to others. And especially with that coming out, <coughs> excuse me, especially with us having the card come out with the soul star chakra in reverse, they're getting advice. They're not teaching someone else. They're, they're getting advice. Mm, and it says here, the position of Mars in your chart can show how you express your anger and what gets you fired up. Somebody here is going to um, someone else. And rather than, I don't know if they're paying, if they're broke, 
because I heard the smallest violin. So this is a pity party. They're going to someone else and asking to be mentored. How interesting. And they're looking at how they can stress someone else out. And my EMF just closed as I did this. I open up there. There's something here about getting very, very stressed out or frustrated because there's that feeling of, I already know this, but I have to keep a filter like I knew. And can you can you do this for me? Could you read that for me? Would you be able to show me? So if so-and-so had this in, in their ninth house, how would that affect them? You know, I'm just learning here. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Anything else that would like to come out? Why didn't I get crystal keys? Okay, now you've got here. Okay, so here we have Venus is the planet of love and material possessions. Where it is in your chart can help identify how you are influenced in matters of the heart. Now, if I place this over here, this person is also asking whoever this mentor is, what crystals would be needed to put in, in say, for example, your fifth house or where, where, where um, Venus rules? How would it affect you if I put this crystal or this crystal or that crystal? Okay, this person is going back to basics because they've more or less blocked themselves off from all the things that they knew because the things that they knew were being channeled, okay? And I heard not from their ancestors, but and I heard by the dark ones because you have to remember our ancestors, we have a long lineage of ancestors and not all of them were elevated, okay? Some of them were and some of them chose not to be. There's something here about being blocked off completely. They've blocked their own soul star chakra. And it says here, our rising sign is called the ascendant. It shows an individual's first reactions to new people, situations, and the mask that you wear to meet the world. This person's definitely wearing some sort of glamour spell or some sort of come to me um, mask or trying to in front of whoever it is they're asking to mentor them. Because you've got here rising sign in Libra, attractive, easygoing, and gentle. They may be masking themselves with their seventh house or trying to mask themselves in a different zodiac sign than what they are. Okay, because you've got cancer here. This person's very much in their feelings. All right, but this is also family. This is a matriarch. This is all the feminine energy that we have. So sister, auntie, mother, mother-in-law, grandmother. They've definitely gone to someone posing as... I heard like the, a bleeding artist or a pity party of some sort. And you have here, yeah, astrology involves the forecasting of events through the interpretation of the fixed stars, the sun, the moon and the planets. They've definitely gone to get a read, okay? But they're doing it with a mask on because you've got here rising sign in Gemini, curious, sociable and restless. This person is definitely going and trying to, I heard, trying to find an easy target. They're looking for someone who will give them information without them properly reading them, if that makes sense. Now, why have I been shown this? What do you want to get out? Let's have a look. Now, I've opened it and it says trust. Yeah, they're not trustworthy. They're not trustworthy. But what is it that they're trying to do? Psychic protection upside down. They want to find out if there are any niggles, how they can get into someone's protection circle. But I heard, I also heard as I was, was looking at this one, there's something here about trying to go into um, a witch's coven, but it's not what they, it's not what you think. They're trying to get into like a, a Wiccan or a white witch kind of circle where people get together and you know they do either protection spells or they ground with Mother Gaia, but they do it together to amplify that energy. Um, there's something about sitting in the forest or calling on forest nymphs and them trying to come in. There's something, how are they masking their energy if they're blocked? Because you've got here psychic protection and it says, around me now a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold. So they've placed something around them because I heard paid for it with what? Paid with it with a grandmother's necklace. They may have taken an heirloom and kind of pawned it or given it to someone to place something around them so it looks like they have a golden aura. You have knowledge. They're really blocked off. They're not only blocked off from the divine, they're blocked off from this light one. They can't get into this, what, this light one's dream state. They can't get into their energy field. Because you've got here, it says, let me connect above and below, let the knowledge of ancestors flow. They are completely blocked off, okay? And it says fertility as well. Let all take root, seed and sprout. Let new life be all about. 
this person, when this light one either cleansed their home, done a cord removal, whatever it is that this light one has done, because I've heard their ritual was changed, they did, they changed something within their, their daily practice or something that they do, they, they tweaked it. Not only has it blocked whoever it was that was trying to invade, but it's with this infertile, they disempowered this person to the point that they have no connection to their divine feminine, none. And that's also why I, would, I got that energy of that Sagittarian of having no filter. This person no longer knows how to scam, but they have paid someone to cover their aura because look, this person is so, so dodgy. This person is not to be trusted. Look, good cheer. Yeah. That's the aura they have around them or they're trying to keep around them. And I heard 24 hours. So whoever they've paid, it will only last for a specific amount of time. Okay. Well, why is this linked? How does this link to the light ones? How does this link to the light ones? What is it that they're trying to do? Oh, <clears throat> true love come to me. This person's done some sort of, and I did feel like they had some sort of come to me energy or come to me oil or spell or something like that. And it says, true love shall come to me as I do, as I do will, so mote it be. They've gone into, they've kind of tried to infiltrate into some sort of Wiccan circle or event or something like that to get help from people that are unsuspecting to get this person back. But I had separation. They wish to separate this light one from their true divine. I've got something on my screen, one second. And it says here, look, divine guidance upside down. Now here it says, whispers from the beings who shine, let their message be clear and kind. And it's upside down. And I heard, do this one thing for me. Whoever it is that they've gone to, to get this oil or this spell, is governed by, or works with something that's either demonic or low level. Okay, but would this just do this one thing for me? There's always a price to pay. There is always a price to pay when you're doing something like this. Now, what is the price? Ooh, they don't even realize that they're setting themselves up to fail. Whatever it is that they are trying to do with this true love come to me spell to, you know, get back whoever it is who's left and to separate this light one from their divine counterpart is literally the price the sacrifice is actually the person that they love you know and it's not even so much um unconditional love it's that whoever this person was was doing their bidding or was bound and giving them what they wanted whether that was the superficial material things whether that was power wealth notoriety but they're going to lose it all and it says here love aphrodite i call to thee to bring a true love here to me Oh, they're angering the gods. They're going to anger the gods. And look at that. That's my house sign. They're bringing something to their own home, to their own door, because I heard fifth house drama. Okay. Because the thing is as well is that I do not, I, I do not agree in any way, shape or form with love spells. I do not. Because you are binding someone against their will. <clears throat> and what happens... And what I have seen, not experienced, but what I have seen is those who use love spells end up with it going wrong because they bind someone else who then becomes infatuated with them, obsessed with them, and then they become possessive and you end up with a stalker and you break up with that person, you leave that person, but that person's still bound to you. So they're, they're going to be following you everywhere. They're going to have fits of rage because their soul has been bound. They don't actually want to be there. So this person does not realize what they're doing to themselves. Okay. Best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what, what must be known. This person does not see this. They don't see what's coming. Their ancestors do. And look, their ancestors know exactly what's coming. All right. And it says joy. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. This person is more or less attracting the vibrations that they are at, the frequency that they're vibrating at. And because they have such a, uh, because I heard succubus, this person just drains other people's energy. And I heard energy harvesting you or this light one. They're drawing that to themselves. Okay, magical powers. I weave and clear, I cast and know. Magic secrets to me now show. They're doing this because they feel like this separation of this light one 
or that this this person coming not being able to come forward and propose is in some way going to knock this light one off of their own um because i heard knock them off their pedestal but they feel like it's going to be some sort of blow that will make this person question their own faith okay and they're still wanting to get into dream state state they want to get into dream state health and then you have then that's actually your sixth house okay so again you've got virgo energy mother earth sweet mother earth bright bring to me your health and might ah so this is all revolving around <clears throat> this person's blocked themselves themselves so much that they're ill they've actually made themselves so ill which makes sense with this infertility upside down they may not be able to have children they may have lied about being pregnant or having a child or whose child it is but it's more than that i heard done too much they've done too much either to an air sign or just to a light one okay and not only have they blocked their own you know their first fifth and ninth house <coughs> excuse me but they've blocked themselves so much that they're ill and there's something here about separating this light one from their true cause or from their faith so that they can attach again and be youthful or get rid of whatever it is because i heard a health spell that was sent and i heard not now it, it was previous they want to send that back or they want to send whatever um what's the word repercussions that are now affecting their body and that karma back to the light one it doesn't work like that oh dear oh me oh my now what one would like to come out let's have a look this one yeah let's get this one out and let's have a look and we have here look yeah this person is not protected because you have angelic protection no weapons formed forged against me shall prosper they're trying to send back their own their own lesson okay expect delays it's not going to happen for them unfortunately okay and again you've got fourth house cancer this is either a family member or this is a friend who knows the family and i heard both both show me more please and thank you show me what i need to see and it says here consumed by greed and power no purpose monitor spirit soulless lost despair hungry and empty this person has something attached to them they have something attached to them and look it's right next to cancer yeah this person definitely has something attached to them and they feel like going to different groups or different mentors of some sort because i'm seeing someone wearing like a purple robe so this person may be a high priestess they may be pushed away from many they may have been they may have gone to many different people and asked for help or can you teach me and they've gone to a couple of high priestesses who aren't dark who have said no sorry so they're going to like baby witches or baby light witches who are learning about the earth and things like that to try and get them to do it for them because i heard mini cult they want to make a mini cult well something's gonna go viral what's going viral because i heard i did it for love what did they do for love what did they do for love Ooh. Well, someone's getting a payout and it says payout money's owed wealth making bank money for life there's something here was there some sort of like fake win well then this the the energy always comes in about someone trying to steal money or embezzlement or fraud or stealing inheritance and almost like the the um excuse that they're making with this pity party energy is that i did it for love i was coaxed into it there's very much this Whoever this person is that's coming forward, okay, because I am picking up, uh, of recent I have been picking up two energies, one of a divine counterpart that was bound, that is now free, and is now learning and healing and growing slowly, but going through that healing phase. And then you also have a karmic energy here as well, that has been unbound, and this person also has an obsessive, obsessive um perception of this light one because they have something on their back there's one i want to figure out which one it is which one is it that they're obsessed over which one let's see and we have here there you go so it's the karmic for some reason they think that this this light one is going to accept a karmic masculine or feminine, whoever it is and what resonates for you. Because you have here first house, smear campaign, I want to be you, karmic cycle, stuck in the loop, self-harm, pessimistic, cause self a, re a realist. 
mask on, hungry for validation of others, insecure, copies others, social anxiety, jealous, self-loathing and suicidal. Okay, so this is Aries as well. <clears throat> I knew there was a fire sign in here. Whoever this third party energy is, is, is obsessed with getting them back and is blaming this light one who has nothing to do with this for the reason why this person's walked away rather than their own ill <clears throat> ill doings for ill gain. You know, what else would like to come out, please and thank you. What's going viral? Start saving. Because something's about to go viral. Someone might need a lawyer. Someone might need to get some sort of... Um, legal advice why did i get start saving oh we we got artist pastoral i'm going to pop that one over there for a moment and it says upsurge in products sold ka -ching, upside down so there's something going on if something's going to go viral about um artistic um what's the word property intellectual property being stolen and there being a massive payout that actually wasn't supposed to be this person's, it was supposed to be this light one's, okay? You've got a church member here, or you've got somebody who has that fake, you know, mask on of being very, um, what's the word? Is it pious? I can never remember. But really being of God, or of being very religious and very studious in their religion and how they practice it. But really, and I heard they make me do it. For the love of God, they made me do it. Because you've also got up or down this way candle magic burning petitions runes symbols working with deities fey salt circles black candle return to sender as above so below intent is key this person has actually tried quite a lot to send back their own karma more or less it's almost like a tit for tat they sent something out and it was returned back to them because it was theirs in the first place and they're trying to send that energy back out again and they've ended up with a monitor spirit on their back the same monitor spirit that they sent out to a light one that makes sense someone cleansed their house and removed that monitor spirit it was freed and it's gone back to them and it's on their back okay anyone that actually does practice the craft with you know love and light whatever you have done has sent it's it's been sent back it's been sent back what else would like to come out toxic partner and expect delays so this person over here this person is coming forward towards a light one because you've got expect delays so this person may come in soon that there's something they've done to themselves okay this toxic partner and it says codependent narcissistic and karmic with a big thumbs down this person has blocked their own sacral chakra but they're very unbalanced both of these energies are extremely imbalanced imbalanced anything else that i need from this back please and thank you she knew what i need to see why am i hearing that song again that boy is mine here we go, stay-at-home parent. So this person may be a stay-at-home parent. You may be a stay-at-home parent, okay? But you've got student, and okay, this is the 11th house as well. So this is all to do with your social circles, which is coming up here with communities. Um, somebody can't study you anymore. Somebody can't get in. And it's making them extremely angry. Extremely angry. You've also got cheering on the fight, bystanders egging on the drama, and petty. This person likes to watch whether whether that is someone's social media or through windows, you know, like a peeping Tom. They love to watch drama. They may be the type of people that watch videos on YouTube or Facebook of people just fighting, you know. But there's something here about when there was a tower in a light one's life, they were either nearby or they were watching and hoping that it went worse than it did. Housing. There, there was a hope here that a light one would lose their home okay there was something here about losing the home or moving away from home so that events that were supposed to take place for this light one to continue to be on the right path to meet their their true love or their business partner or their divine counterpart wouldn't happen okay tax refund you are owed money look into it there's something here about spreading a lie that a light one owes taxes I heard a bundle of money. Why do they hear a bundle of money? Someone needs a VPN, okay? And if you have already got one, there's something here about upping it. And this person uses a VPN to kind of um, follow. And it's no, it's not just that, it's the dark web. I heard the dark web. Why did I hear the dark web? For some reason, I heard someone's dog needs a walk right now. 
someone's dog is waiting to go out but i'm also seeing like a black scotty dog like a scottish terrier now i don't know if this is um a dog that is on this realm and alive or if someone had a childhood dog that looked like the scotty dog out of um walt disney's lady and the tramp but this dog i can see this dog here now and it's got a, a red collar or an orange collar or something along those lines here and you've got here creativity in your words hold power whoever it is that changed something in their ritual their cleansing ritual or tried something new it's opening up your sacral chakra it's opening up that flow for creativity so if you have had a period of not stagnancy but you know when you just don't have the motivation to create or you're writing something and the words just don't come <clears throat> this is being removed and someone needs to speak over their, their sacral someone needs to speak over it visualize those words activating your sacral anything else anything else from this this deck one more time and i heard um the song one more time music makes me feel so free we're gonna celebrate celebrate and feel so free there's something here about playing certain music to get your creativity to flow and there's something here about using that while you're speaking your words of power okay because you've also got eye of horus the moon protective powers come from deflecting malevolent forces feminine and yin human nature emotions intuition magic and sexual energy i was getting like the vibes when i was setting up that there's some sort of distorted sexual energy that's coming forward and i know that it's coming from this this um aries this fire sign but it's also coming from this feminine energy over here and we've got in two weeks or less I want to know what this is. Someone's getting kicked out of their home or losing their home really, really soon. Okay, but they know this is coming. And you've got tax refund upside down. Why do I keep getting tax? Tax, tax, tax. Someone needs to check on their tax or they need to redo their tax. Um, it's a tax form that needs to be done. Because I heard you know you should be doing this. What have we got here? Fifth house. A new fifth house would come out because <clears throat> you've got a new offer upside down. Whoever this masculine or, you know, a toxic partner is that's coming forward, we all already know that if this person's coming forward, this person is toxic. They are from an old cycle and timeline. They're not for us. But also whoever this, um, this lady or, or, you know, toxic partner is to them, whatever energy that they're using to use this come to me spell is not going to work there's something here about attracting something that they don't want okay because you've also got fifth house romance and drama and it's upside down they're creating more drama for their back there's something here about attracting um, the third party of their third party if that makes sense because it says on here third party affairs unfaithfulness ego outshining others purposefully constant competition all work and no play makes jack a dull boy creating and living in chaos narcissistic tendencies control creative blocks impotence i knew there was something going on here with that fertility upside down sleeping with the boss immature and pettiness they are attracting so much shit to themselves mind my language they really really are but with this deflecting keep doing if if some of you are lighting candles and then speaking your evocations over them or if you're visualizing certain things or using certain symbols of power whatever it is that you've done that you've changed it's working okay because with the eye of horus here and it protective powers come from deflecting malevolent forces it's just sending that stuff straight back to where it came bravo business partner now where do i want to put this one and you've got attorney here and it did have start saving there's definitely something in the works with the seventh house to do with legal matters and look yeah this person this is what they're bringing on themselves okay obsessed death spells deviant sexual thoughts about you polyamorous love spells sexual dreams they've literally just sent this stuff back to themselves but there's something here about it going skew if and not going towards the the um the destined or desired target and being sent to someone else this this feminine energy over here or this this toxic energy over here when they sent this out i think they've almost like opened up the floodgates for all other karmic chaos living you know people that sit in their shadows and just 
project out, out, out to come towards them. Because I heard sister, mother, cousin. There's something, some sort of chaos coming to their own home because of what they've done. Shaman. Because I heard you are a shaman, bitch. I don't know who that is for, but go you. Now, anything else that would like to come out? This one, this one, this one. Okay. Let's see. Tell me more about this legal thing. This legal thing that's coming through. Why do I get legality in seventh house? Let me see. Why do I get legal? And you've got here destroyer and it's upside down. Intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potential. Someone here, whoever this Aries is in reverse that's coming forward, this person has extreme destructive behaviour and tendencies. And I heard this man's dangerous. Or this person is. And there's something here about them, them needing a lawyer. Okay. There's some sort of civil, is it a civil suit? I heard, no, I heard sexual assault suit against them. All right, because you've got here martyr. Do you want light or dark? Light. Learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Okay. Now, if I place, why am I getting that whoever this attorney is, is linked in some way to this divine counterpart, this business partner, and not in a negative way. It's almost like that's the cousin of the cousin of the friend of the blah, 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 if that makes sense. They're linked in some way. This business partner may work as an activist or, you know, work to change certain laws or to put in certain things to help people. This person has very much the um, energy of humanitarianism, which is also Aquarius. Um, but, you know, zodiac signs are not important. But there is definitely a link here between this karmic masculine or karmic, you know, energy coming forward and this divine counterpart. Tell me some more, especially with that pink there. This person leaves with their heart space. Tell me about this connection. Why did I get that connection? Why did I get that connection? Please and thank you. Okay, and we've got here Seeker. And it's in the shadow attributes, inability to commit to one path once found. Okay. Can I pop this over here with this lion over here? There was something here about there being a deal that this toxic energy, this, you know, um, this Aries or fire sign in reverse would go forward as a fake business partner, but kept flipping between doing it and not wanting to do it, doing it and not wanting to do it. And whatever it is, now that they've freed themselves from this binding spell, it's left them feeling really unhinged, really, really unhinged. They want to come forward as some sort of martyr, okay? But there, there's something about being unable to commit to a path once found. So even though they, they seem to be going through some sort of dark night of the soul, they flip between feeling sorry for themselves and then feeling like they need to enact revenge. And it's not even against this person here, it's towards a light one. Okay, and on the back it says, detective, great powers of observations, intuition, desire to seek out the truth. There's something here about being fearful that this light one is too close to the mark on being able to provide, whether that is the astral aspect of information or whether that is on <clears throat> this realm, in this reality. But there's something here about this light one being too close to uncovering something, okay? Because you've got father and it's in reverse and it says shadow attributes, dict um, dictatorial control, abuse of authority. There's something here, whoever this is for, whoever is going down that rabbit hole, whether it is conspiracy conspiracy theories whether it's something that you know you, you're starting to connect the dots and you're starting to find out you know information about secret societies or whatever it is that is resonating with you when you are reading listening to this this person is not so much a third party and i had no it is but this aries or this fire sign is flitting between wanting to heal and coming forward for forgiveness genuinely and then wanting to come forward for fake forgiveness because they want to shut you up or shut this light one up and they also want to turn the tables i heard turn the tables there's something weird here with whatever this toxic feminine energy has done over here with this come to me spell or this you know this trying to bind them again it's only made 
this masculine energy or this toxic energy be more obsessed in this light one in what they're doing how they're gaining their information okay but i heard blocked off blocked off because i keep hearing that song locked up won't let me out won't let me out and that can be they're trapped in their own mind or they know they're going to, to they're going to to jail or prison very very soon and it says here do you want me to do the light or the dark light and look at that i've got a fly going across pastoral there's something very very low vibing about this pastoral community the light attributes for um deliante is delights in the arts without having a, a pro, without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits there's something here also with um going back to the start about stealing someone's intellectual property or their um artistic property and them trying to either get a payout or take someone else's artwork in any shape or form that resonates with you and keeping it for themselves and they're missing something is that whoever it is whoever this light one is that creates whether that is artwork whether that you know in painting form or you know dance or sing or whether it's writing or through their voice they don't do it for um accolades they, they create because it's a way of connecting themselves to themselves. And I'm just looking at where this fly has gone. It's gone from pastoral to new offer to this love come to me. All right. There's something here about trying to um, find a way to place something on this artwork that will make people want to buy it or make them want to take it and say, oh my gosh, this is this this person's. They want those accolades. They want people to gush over them and going, oh my gosh, you're such a great artist. And there's something here also about recording this or keeping this or keeping a file of this so that when it goes to court, there's something about trying to sue this light one and saying, but look at how these people have been touched by my art artwork. There's something, and I heard fakeness. Now I've got two cards in here that don't belong here. Let's see what they are. And we have here, mm, oh, three cards, interesting. Let me see. We have the gold and silver violet flame dragon. And it says, transmutes the old around you with wisdom and grace. It's time for transmutation, magic and healing. Offer service under grace. Okay, so this person is definitely stuck in not wanting to heal but not only not wanting to heal but wanting to trick others into feeling like they already are healed and that their art or whatever service that they're providing is from the heart that is originally theirs okay and you also have air and water dragon helps you to connect to higher frequencies they're trying to figure out some no stop it there's something here about trying to hex someone's artwork or their body of work or their intellectual property to bring in some sort of block here how interesting you've also got archangel gabriel's dragon brings purification self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy you can carry archangel's diamond okay and these are all upside side down and you've got air and water here okay so that's gemini aquarius and libra cancer scorpio and pisces which is your third your 11th and your seventh your fourth your eighth and your 12th this is all about trying to get other people um, to look at you in a specific way. Okay, that's very interesting. And I had actually said myself that someone had been, you know, some chicken head had been trying to hex my channel. Like, good luck with that. Um, but there's something here about trying to hex someone's artwork or the platform they're on. Or, you know, if you're a, social, if you're a, a public speaker, for example, trying to get people to not listen to your words. If you are an, a recording artist, people listening to your, um, your records turning away, for example. There's, this is all a plan and I heard it's revenge. Someone's very, very pity, um, petty, but they want to be seen as being pitied, like, oh, poor this person. Now, what else wants to come out? Exorcist, okay? Light or dark? Both. So the light attribute is freeing yourselves and others from destructive impulses. And the shadow attribute is fear of facing your own demons. They're trying to swap places. They wish someone to swap places. And I heard, don't take him. Don't take him. There's something here about wanting to stay in the chaos with this person because that's their Bonnie and Clyde. Because you've also got child divine upside down. An inability to defend oneself against negative forces. This person is up against it, seriously, because they're a thief. 
because they're a massive, massive thief. Well, I never. Now, what advice do we have for my lovely light ones? Let's have a whoopsie. Let me take this one. Green one first. Okay, let's have a look. Now, advice here. I've opened the deck and you've got Traveller. Move in a new direction. And you also have Earth Guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Someone needs to change up the way that they ground or the way that they... Um, it's not so much how you send back things. It's your grounding techniques or someone needs to ground a lot more. Okay. And I heard don't feel sorry for him. Don't feel sorry for him. I don't know who needs to hear that. What else needs to come out? Let's have a look. And it says here, summer, bask in joy and light. Okay. Someone definitely needs to do some sort of cord removal for their solar plexus. But this is also looking at, um, it's not the wounded inner child, but inner child moments that brought you lots of pleasure and joy and happiness. Okay. Because I heard strengthen it with gold. Strengthen it with gold. Anything else that would like to come out, please? And thank you, my lovely, lovely light beings. What would like to come out as advice? Should I take these? Yeah. And you have here, sage, be devoted and committed. And it's upside down. And you also have animal guardian, trust your instincts. You're being told that <clears throat> even though someone's trying to send something to your ninth house, which is all about your faith and it's your philosophies, question when you know when you have an intruding thought or <clears throat> for example if you're not motivated or you get to work and you're like oh, i'm gonna have a shit day question yourself where that's coming from and trust your intuition with the answer that you get and and take time to work out whether it's fear that's guiding you is it paranoia that's guiding you and i'm not judging but you know or ask yourself is this intuitively coming from me is this someone else's energy you know, if you get a dip in your energy, whether that is going from being really happy to going, oh, I can't be bothered. Or if you go from having a lot of energy to being really tired, again, ask yourself, is this my energy? And if it's not, send it back, okay? You've also got here, yeah, peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right, also. I don't know who needs to hear that, but especially with fifth house coming out with drama, whoever this is, is putting in a lot of effort they're spending so much energy i don't know why you know they put they're spending so much energy in trying to invade someone else's space be aware of this especially with trust your in instincts upside down and be devoted and committed if you feel like your energy is changing and you're you're feeling a bit more testy or you're feeling a bit more irritated take a moment i heard for someone bite your tongue especially if there's a confrontation or something that is just grating you the wrong way take a moment for yourself to tap into your intuition go what's going on here is this my energy or is this someone else's has what they've said has it really irritated me that much that i have to be right or is it that someone's projecting okay because you've also got here look white witch be the light someone is poking the proverbial bear they want a reaction they want a low vibrational action okay and the best way to prove you know to show how you know to be successful is to just keep doing what you're doing keep healing keep taking time and having space for yourself okay the best way that you can the best kind of revenge that you can place on someone else is not giving them any any time not giving them any value not you know there's a song by Inaco and i love it it's called king's a affirmation i really really suggest to those who um especially love listening to music and getting lost in music listen to it because the words are so powerful and she says in her you know in her song i will not give any clout to my haters they will stay nameless okay so this is reminding you when someone is pressing your buttons stay above it and i'm not saying that you know you can't get angry you can't feel a, a certain type of way of course you can but take a deep breath and step back before you react to it because whoever this is is trying the most to get you to go down to their level and they're petty okay broken owl arrow embrace the energy of peace there you go I'm going to leave it there. I really hope this gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and this resonates for you, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. 
thank you for helping my channel to grow thank you for connecting with me also i really really like reading your emails and your comments um, anyone that would like to have a personal reading all of my information is down in the description box if you look at the second paragraph down there is a row of blue arrows and that's my email there that's the only way that you can contact me um, i will be from next week opening up readings for our sessions um, please contact me for more details i will only be taking a limited amount because I am one person and I still have a lot of other things to do outside of this channel. Um, but please contact me if that's something that interests you. Um, with that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you later. Bye, you guys.